Is Fidelity using scare tactics to drum up business? I don't like this at all, man. This, uh, I got a client who emailed me last night. He goes, oh, hey, Josh, I logged in my Fidelity portfolio and it says, hey, there's a, uh, there's a chance you could run out of money uh, before you die. Um, so click here for a review of your retirement plan. And so what? And when we ran the numbers for this guy and I, because he's one of my clients, we have I only given a four point two percent expected rate of return with like an eight percent standard deviation. It's like twenty five to seventy five. Twenty five stocks to seventy five. You know, cash and bonds, fixed income. It's cold out here, dude. It's a fall day here in North Georgia, and I love it. I love this weather. This like this weather gets me so invigorated. Oh man. I love it. This is fantastic. The leaves are falling. We got a cold breeze. Man, this is fantastic. Anyway, cloudy. Yep. It's my kind of weather here, baby. That's why I'm pale. I'm pale. I'm a white guy. You know, light eyes. Uh, look at those beautiful white uh, eyes or uh, pale eyes, green eyes, pale skin. This is how us northerners like this stuff, man. We like it cold and dreary. That's me, baby. Anyway, so, um, uh, so I came a four percent rate of return, roughly, with an eight percent standard deviation. All right. So you take eight, you times by three, that gives us twenty-four. So on any given year, his portfolio could be down twenty percent. Again, he's only got twenty-five percent equities, which has never happened before in a twenty-five uh, to seventy-five percent portfolio. On, on a and one year, you're down twenty-five twenty uh, percent. It's never happened. But that's how. Uh, how negative I am coming in. I was, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, conservative, if you will, or cautiously pessimistic. And yet, <laughs> and I've only got them 25, and I've only given a 4% rate of return on expected rate of return. Right now, you're getting over 5% of cash. Let me take a top of the morning to you. I haven't brushed, I haven't showered. I'm going to change my underwear in two years. I'm still sitting in the same old clothes, same old T-shirt. Look, I even got dirt on this T-shirt from, uh, I don't even know what that's from. I guess I was out in the, messing around in the dirt yesterday. So, oh, we should be more formal. No, not for me, baby. Anyway, so I'm like, dude, and we got this guy spending like 10000 a month, and he's not going to come anywhere near spending that, you know, which includes taxes, which includes a $35,000 slush fund vacation goal, uh, basically for the next 10 to 15 years. And... <laughs> <laughs> and he's coming in at hot at 99% probability of success, surviving until he's 95 years old. So I guess I could say, hey, uh, we'll call him Gary. That's not his name. Hey, Gary, I just checked. It looks like you could run out of money. You might want to uh, re-engage me for free, uh, for free uh, to make sure you don't run out of money. Uh, it's like, come on, Fidel. This is freaking weak sauce, man. Like, how do you know, Fidelity, what this guy's spending? I mean, just, I, I, see, I don't like the scare tactic crap. I hate it. I've hated everything. I hate like, did you? I hate the insurance sales pitch for uh, scare tactics. I hate the investment scare tactics. I hate the climate change scare tactics. I hate, oh, if we don't get them over there, they're going to get us over here scare tactics. I hate it. It's freaking, it's despicable. And Fidelity shouldn't be engaging this stuff, but. Look, I like Fidelity. I'm not, you no know, animosity towards them. But given that Fidelity is also the same group that gives us this, you're going to need $386,000 for uh, for medical expenses over the course of your life. It's just, this whole thing's just so stupid. And it, it should be doing that, man. You shouldn't log in, have a mark that says, oh, my goodness, there's a risk here. You could run out of money before you before you die. And then here, click here to seek help for that. It's just, it's not, I don't know, man. I don't like that at all. Let me know what you think. It should because how do they know, first of all, how do they, I'm not going to say it's a violation of your privacy, but in a way it kind of is. I mean, imagine if I walked in a, uh, went to my USA account. That's where I hold my accounts, not my investments, my day-to-day -day checking account. And they say, oh, given how much you spend, you know, you could be a million dollars in debt by next year or something like that. I say, eh, you don't know. I don't want you to know my personal stuff that much based on, you know, your, uh, data analytics that's looking at my website use uh, my my data I, I don't like that and on top of that by the way click here for a review of your eh, i don't want that crap i mean it's just it's, it's i don't know it's underhanded in my opinion like scare people to get them to do business man did you know that life insurance guys would do that go through the obits back in the old days it's actually a good sales tactic by the way it's just i don't like it 
they go through the obituaries and say, hey, uh, it looks like, you know, Mr. Smith, they call Mrs. Smith. I'm, my condolences that Mr. Smith just died. Uh, if you need any help settling the estate or, you know, doing anything with your life insurance proceeds, please let me know. And I just, I always, I didn't, I never liked it. It's actually a good sales tactic. I'm not going to lie to you. In the days of do not call us, I don't think they do that anymore. But you can send a letter for sure. I just, I still don't like it though. It's like, yeah, these are when people are most vulnerable. And I, I don't like, when you use sales tactics, when people are the most vulnerable, I just, I don't like that at all. It's, uh, you're, you're coming out of a position of strength, knowing full well that people are vulnerable. A widow is uh, creeps me out. You don't need to do that, man. Um, what you need to do is be your authentic self. Be your authentic self. And that's me, my authentic self right here. I'm authentic. And just, you know, tell people and, and provide hope, by the way. And the hope is such that, hey, you know, we got you spending ten thousand dollars a month, essentially for the rest of your life, uh, with a four point two percent rate of return, with an eight percent standard deviation, and you're still coming in hot at ninety nine percent. Yeah, you're gonna be just fine. But I could say, hey, Gary, you got a one percent probability of uh, no, because he has a one percent probability of, of failure. So we didn't even have to use that. We say there is a potential that you could run out of money because there is ninety nine percent. It's not one hundred percent. Do better, Fidelity. Do better. All right, we'll see you. Let me know what you think.